now we have our beautiful children from Sunday school starting to process into the church. We have the first couple of pews um, reserved for them. I guess they're not all at the beach today. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to uh, now begin the Sunday School graduation ceremony. I'm going to ask our Sunday School director, Patty Trant, to come forward and to uh, have the program begin. Patty, thank you. Good morning. I'd like morning. to first of all thank everyone for bringing their beautiful children to Sunday School every Sunday. I've got three kids of my own, so I know what a task that is. Um, the kids did a wonderful job this year. I cannot believe that our program has come to an end. This year's theme is put God first so that they can start the relationship with God. And what that means is we're teaching them to love God and to be very kind and compassionate to everyone that they encounter in their lives. So what does that really mean? How do they bring that to life in their everyday life? Well, what decisions are they making? Are they making decisions that will please God? Are they making decisions so that they are still cool in front of their peers? Are they turning to God when they are in time of need? And are they going back to God and thanking him when things are good? So we bring all that into Sunday school in addition to the regular Sunday school curriculum. In addition to our curriculum, the children are also involved in service projects. We had three this year. We wrote um, beautiful cards to the soldiers who were deployed overseas. We wrote beautiful Valentine's Day cards to our friends at Marlin Place in Andover. And we also participated in the 100th celebration by making our um, famous stars for our founding fathers of the church. So I wish everyone a wonderful summer, and I hope to see everyone in church. Remember to put God first. And before I bring the Sunday school teachers up, I really want to welcome them, and I want to thank them all for a wonderful job that they have done. They are truly an amazing group. They are wonderful men and women who truly put God first, and they also put your children first. Thank you so much for a wonderful year. So now if I can bring up the high school, please, if Mr. Tom Pentelli can come up and uh, distribute the certificates. Good morning. We need a little more time for Michael to get up here, so I have to <laughs> delay a little bit. Uh, this year, um, we had a lot of students enrolled in Sunday school in our senior class, 9th through 12th. We had a number of seniors in our class as well. Some of them are here today, still, although there was graduation last week. We never had a greater attendance in Sunday school each week than we did this year. That's some kind of testament either to the kids, the family, Father Chris and our ministry here, but something good happening. So I hope that carries on going forward as well. And uh, um, the number of students that came every week, they were, the older students came, they were, they were an ex example to the younger students, the younger students came, and they saw that example, and they also were involved in Sunday school participation as well. So it's great. I hope it's the beginning of good things to come as well in the Sunday school class. So as our director mentioned, class, I hope you get this right. What was the theme of our Sunday school year?
<laughs> was that right? Yeah, that was it. Very good. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Put God first in everything in your life. There's so many things that are in, we're involved in that are, get in the way of life and becomes life. But if you don't put God first, then you're going to have issues in life. So that was what we kept impressing to the class this year. There's going to be, as you go into college, there's going to be folks that you meet in college. There's going to be professors. They're going to be contesting your faith. And we have to stand strong in that. But we also found out it's not just in college, in high school, and as well in middle school, their faith is being challenged. So these kids have to be resilient. They have to know their faith, what they believe, and why they believe it. And that's what we went over this year. So very good. So bottom line, what did you learn this year? Raise your hand. If you want to answer the question, you have to raise your hand. <laughs> okay, who wants to tell everybody what we learned? Bottom line. It's you. Uh, to trust and obey Jesus trust and obey. That's perfect. You trust him, you obey him, and you're, you're, you will go well in life. Very good. Put God first. What do you put second in life? <laughs> That's nice, but really, no, really. <laughs> what do you put second in life? Else. What? Else. Right. Put God first. Everything else is second. But we hope that during this summer, you'll, families will be able to continue this learning. It's not just Sunday school, about the 45 minutes to, a half an, to an hour we have every week. It's an ongoing teaching. So you have to share with each other. You have to talk God. You have to put God first in your life and live the life. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, that's fine. Let's call your names up. Stelios Kutsoyanopoulos. Jimmy Kretzis. Maybe I should say the grade too. Vasiliki Papadopoulos, 11th grade. <laughs> Joanna Archambault, 10th grade. <laughs> Athanasios Denis, 9th grade. <laughs> Anastasia Maynard, 9th grade. Angelina Grace Archambault. <laughs> Conchetta Archambault, ninth grade. <laughs> Nicholas Wallingford. <laughs> Sarah Petrakis, ninth grade. Alexandra Trent, 10th grade. Nick Monroe, 11th grade. Michelangelo Zaparlis, 9th grade. Olga Gorman, 9th grade. Michaela Goodwin, 11th grade. Samuel Zafaris, 11th grade. <laughs> Valerie Nicolopoulos, 10th grade. <laughs> Michael Math Mackey, 10th grade. <laughs> Thanks for a great year, class. Thank you. Thank you. If now we can please bring up the seventh and eighth grade, Ms. Angela Fazio, who's a teacher in that class. How 
do I do this? <laughs> Just adjust. Top? I'm a loud person, but microphones make me a little bit, a little nervous. There we go. Crowds don't. Microphones do. Thanks, Tom. I'm good. I'm good. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay. First, I just want to say that it was an honor to teach this, this year. It was so great to build relationships with these amazing kids. I'm honored to that Miss Patty, Mrs. Trant allowed me to do this with Father Chris's blessing. Thank you, all of you. Um, this year, we put God in the center. We put him first. We learned about how to do that. We covered some very heavy topics in this class. We taught, we have seventh and eighth graders and we talked about um, bullying and peer pressure, things that they encounter and or will encounter in their near future, and things that we really wanted to make sure that they felt guided with through Christ and through our prayers and working and talking together. I definitely felt the Lord working through me to reach these kids, and it was just an amazing feeling. So, and they've told me, although they, if I ask them now, they're probably going to be zip, zipped shut, but they told me they all took away a lot from this year. They learned, and they cultivated their relationships even more, and I'm so proud of them. So thank you guys as well. So without further ado, come and get your diplomas. James Archambault. Demetra Danis, Ariana Carapelidis, I'm going to get this one right, Eleni Kutsu Giannopoulos, Andrew Maturanis, Liam Monroe, Despina Tatsiopoulos, Erin Trant, and Sultana Saparales. I'm so proud of all of you. Thank you for coming. And there are so many more kids that would come and sporadically, and we've, I feel like we've reached them all. So thank you all so much. Now, if we can please bring up the sixth grade. Ms. Evelyn DeLegas is the teacher for that grade. Good morning, everyone, and thank you again for bringing your children to Sunday school. It was a pleasure teaching the class again this year. Um, the, in the sixth grade class, we go over the meaning of our divine liturgy service. Um, we read many parables of the New Testament and how we can apply those meanings to modern life. We also review some of the Old Testament scripture to bring together the message of honoring, <coughs> loving the Lord, our families, friends, and neighbors. This class was a wonderful class. Many of the boys serve as on the altar as um, acolytes, and um, many of the students are also in public school together, and they know each other from Joy and Goya, so they're coming together as young adults um, to have a very po become very positive role models, and you all should be very proud of that. So I'll begin with the certificates. Marcos Petrakis. Jason Stilakis. Theo Trant. Dino Papadopoulos. George Carafalides. Olivia DeLegas. 
Irini Evangelinos. Now, if we can please bring up the fifth grade. Ms. Bess Gorman is the teacher for the fifth grade. Before we continue, one of our students came in, Stephen Jovellis, just finished the ninth grade as well. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> um, good morning. I am Bess Gorman, fifth grade teacher, and it's fun to watch, because I think I've had almost everybody up here for fifth grade, so it's fun to see as they grow up and have better teachers than I, than like Tom. But. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to talk about this year's fifth grade, which was another amazing class. And I feel like because my kids are getting older, the fifth graders are getting smaller and cuter and sweeter. Um, and they really were. This was like an unbelievably sweet, enthusiastic, smart class. Um, as you can see, it had quite, and these are the kids who came almost every Sunday or every other Sunday. It was a very um, good class, fun class to teach because they were well-behaved. Um, contributed. You can tell that they really enjoy coming to church, coming to Sunday school. So I think I owe a big thank you to all the parents because I can see that you're doing a great job with them and continue to do that great job. Bring them to church. Um, teach them how to love God because that will go such a long way as they grow up, as you all know, and have to face the world on their own and make decisions on their own. Um, I asked them what they liked learning about this year and um, somebody mentioned they love the Palm Sunday play we did. Somebody also mentioned that we learned a lot about Lent and what the different, both pre-Lent, what that means, what the Lent and Sundays mean, what the special celebrations and liturgies and um, like the salutations, what that mean. And then also we learned a lot about Holy Week and we followed that all along during that period. So it's nice to see that it really, um, that resonated and, and made an impression on them. And then, some, and then a few said they loved everything. So. That was really good to hear. So thank you, and um, good luck to all of you in, in sixth grade. Some are going off to middle school, and I know that's going to be another new challenge for them, but I know they're going to be amazing, and they're going to do great. So for the certificates, I, um, first we have Nicholas Archambault, <laughs> Alex Berry. See how polite they are? They're shaking. That just shows. Um, Emma Diamantes. Teddy Hutchins, and also um, he'll, you can take Sophia's, who's at a gymnastics meet today. <laughs> Katerina Cocotos. <laughs> Mark Skiges. <laughs> Christiana Solaris. <laughs> Destiny Spanos. Mariana Tassiopoulos, and Effie Tichelis. If we can now please bring up the fourth grade. Ms. Lisa Stylos is the teacher for the fourth grade. So you can see we have a very small class, <laughs> but these guys are the best. Um, I'm going to miss them too. Um, because we're very small, we have a very intimate group, and we usually have about, we have a little bit more than, than just three, but usually about six regularly. Um, I want to thank, too, my son, Peter. He usually helps me um, sub uh, if I can't make it. Uh, if you, usually, I have courses that take me away sometimes, but the kids really enjoy Pete when he comes, right? And um, he, um, 
can't be here today as well, but uh, we learn about the life of Christ. And um, we also uh, use not only the Bible, but we also use what's called the Bible app for kids. And do you guys like using that? Yes. <laughs> Is that one of your favorite things about the class? Yes. <laughs> In fact, if we could use that the whole class, would you like to use that for the whole class? So parents, um, I would encourage you all to, if you have a tablet, and I know there's a lot of bad things out there on the internet or whatever, but this is the absolutely most wonderful thing that your kids can learn about the Bible. It's interactive and it's wonderful. It's called the Bible app for kids and the kids can play with this. They can learn about God. There's all different kinds of stories. It is just wonderful. There's questions. There's, they can learn. There's interactive things. It's, I use it almost all the time with the, the kids. We do our lesson first, then we have time left over, and we, we do um, as a reward for good behavior and, and listening, and, and the kids love it. Um, and there's all different kinds of um, different stories that we use. But we do learn about the life of Christ um, from when he was a boy, about his teachings. We go through his, his miracles, his, um, obviously his uh, death and his resurrection, and also about just learning to have a personal relationship with him and how when um, we need him, we can pray, and we can trust and have a, have a relationship with him. So on that note, I will hand out your certificates. Christina Comboris. Jack Mackey. And Maya Matsuranas. <laughs> and I have one for James Diamantis, too, I know. Thank you. Now I'd like to call up the third grade. Mrs. Diana Coster is the teacher for the third grade, but she couldn't make it here today. So Mr. John Maynard, who also teaches with Evelyn, the sixth grade, will be presenting the certificates. And I have to say, John, you've been wonderful because he has subbed a lot for the third grade and um, in any other class that we need him. So thank you for all your hard work and dedication. Good morning. Uh, Diana prepared a, a, a statement. So. I'm so sad I, that I couldn't share this graduation day with my third grade friends. This year we learned about some of the feast days of the church. We learned about Great Lent and how we might extend the things we focus on during Lent, like charity, prayer, to the rest of the year. We shared our good deeds and discussed other ways we, could, we can in our lives. Excuse me. We can our lives in the Orthodox Christians every day, not just on Sunday mornings. I hope everyone has a wonderful summer and wish my friends good luck and happiness moving forward into fourth grade and beyond. So the students are Yanni Tikalis, Luke Maynard, <laughs> Andrew Fazio, <laughs> Isabella Chavez, <laughs> Nico Lacusis, <laughs> and Anthony Archambault. Second grade can please come up. The teacher is uh, Mrs. Sue Petrakis. Good morning. This is my second year teaching second grade, and I have to say it was a fantastic year. It was a small class, but um, a very bright and active class. 
um, we learned um, about God and that God is with us and that God loves us no matter what we do, right? We talked about God may not always like everything we do or love everything we do, but he always loves us. He wants us to do better and to be good, but we always need to remember he's there for us all the time, in good times and bad times. We learned the Lord's Prayer, which was our opening prayer for um, every Sunday school lesson, and I'm very pleased to say it only took a couple of weeks for them to all have it memorized, so I'm very, very proud of them all. Um, I'm going to miss them next year, but they're going to be just on the other side of the wall, so I know I'm going to hear them. <laughs> so the graduates of the second grade Sunday school class are Eugenia Evangelinos, <laughs> Maria Carafelides, Nikki Giuseppe, <laughs> Caroline Tree, <laughs> and Dimitri Spanos. We can now please bring up the first grade. So Ms. Gina La Fortune, as well as Christina Gerlakis, taught that class. Good morning, everyone. We had another wonderful year in first grade. Christina, I never want to graduate. We're very happy here as long as you'll have us. Um, we reinforced the Lord's Prayer because a lot of the children learn it a bit at home and in the kindergarten and pre-K class, so then we also delve into the meaning of each word because some of those words are not words that we use anymore every day. And then we talked about the Jesus prayer, the prayer of St. Ephraim, and that every time uh, we pray, we're talking to God and that uh, we shouldn't just be asking for blessings or what we need, uh, but also use prayer to thank God. We talked about the miracles of Christ, the sacraments, and um, what it means to be a Greek Orthodox Christian, why we light candles, what the meaning of the incense is, and why we have lamb for Easter, and, and all kinds of symbolism as it came up with regard to each lesson. So we thank you for trusting us with your children again, and uh, we had a wonderful year. Thank you. <laughs> Eli Fazio. James Scarone, <laughs> Nicholas Allman, <laughs> and Vasily Lelos Wilson. We can now please bring up the kindergarten class. Ms. Angela Kuleshas teaches along with Leslie Ann Spuglianis, but she's not here today. So, Ms. Angela. Good morning. Um, like Patty said, Leslie Ann Splagunas can't uh, be here today, but we had a wonderful year in Sunday school. We had attendance uh, anywhere from about four to seven kids on average, and they were very attentive in class. They asked all sorts of questions, and as I teach this more and more, the questions they're asking are getting harder and harder for me to answer. They're, they're very, very smart kids. Um, thank you to all the parents who helped out in our classroom this year, whether it was helping us with lessons or the different crafts that we did. Um, we're very blessed to have your children, and I look forward to seeing many of them over the summer in church and also in vacation church school in August. So, Ethan Solaris. <laughs> Dimitri Lelos Wilson. <laughs> Nicholas Treat. <laughs> and Pauline Duzepeth. Now, if we can bring up our youngest students, 
the pre-K class. And the teachers are Ms. Stephanie Stalakis and Ms. Tammy Tassiopoulos. This doesn't go low enough for me. Good morning, everybody. Tammy and I have the privilege of teaching our youngest students here every week. I mean, we learn how to pray, and we learn everybody. Can you tell me, my class, look at me, look at me. What's the first commandment? Exactly. We didn't do it as loud as the seniors, but you want to say it one more time? Yes, we, good job, guys. We put God first, and every week they come, they are here. I thank the parents for bringing them. They love to come. They love God, and they love our church, and I thank you all for that. Congratulations to you all. So, here are our youngest. Um, Dominic Archibald. <laughs> Gabriella Berry. Sophie Diamantis. Will Mackey. Wesley Proctor. Alexander Robinson. Alexandra Stalakis and Nico Tekelis. Have a wonderful summer, everybody. Thank you uh, to all of our wonderful teachers for your dedication, your hard work coming every Sunday to teach our youth. Thank you especially to our director, Patty Trant, for your wonderful work in your ministry, Patty. We really appreciate it. We, we would like to get a picture of everyone and all of the teachers. So boys and girls, if you can squeeze a little closer, any students who are sitting down, please come up. And the boys and girls in the front, could you step back a little bit? And we'd like to get a nice picture of our entire Sunday School children and our staff. Thank you. Boys and girls, we are so very proud of all of you. I hope that you saw the first class that was presented with their certificates were the seniors, 16, 17, 18-year-olds. They, they come to church. Church is cool. Sunday School is cool and fun. And we want you to continue, if you're in pre-kindergarten or kindergarten, you come first grade, second grade, all the way up to senior. We want to see you every year. And you can talk to any one of these seniors about God, about church, about your faith, and they'll be happy to talk to you about it. Boys and girls, we're going to um, go into the hall right now in just a moment. But I want to say today in our church, is called All Saints Sunday. All Saints, the Aigi Pandes. All Saints. You know what that tells us, boys and girls? That we're all called to be saints. That's what the church wants us to know today. Now, look, to be a saint is not that hard. You look at some of the icons Saint Nicholas, Saint Athanasius, Saint Barbara, Saint Catherine, Saint George. Boys and girls, we're called not just the icons and the saints on the walls, but all of you and all of us are called to be living saints. And to be a saint, I want to tell you, it's not that hard. You know what you have to do? Who can tell me what you have to do to be a saint? Today is All Saints Sunday. We're talking about being a saint. What do you have to do to be a saint, Jack? Love God. That's number one. Very good. Is that that hard? We love God. Beautiful. We're on our way. What else to become a saint? What else can we do? You have to believe in God, right? Love Him. Believe in Him. 
Thank you, Evgenia. Good, great answer. What else can we do to be a saint? To pray, right? Boys and girls, is it that hard? To pray? Say, Our Father who art in heaven. Right? Say that at home every night before you go to bed. That's what the saints do. Gee, so far, this is easy. We're becoming saints. What else? Dimitri, yes. Read the Bible. That's right. Because look at St. Nicholas. Look at St. Athanasius. What are they holding? Bibles. Boys and girls, is that that hard to do? Open your... We read other books. Read a little bit from your Bible. Right? What else can we do to be saints? Say that louder, honey. Yeah, now we're getting into some practical things. Obey Jesus Christ and your parents. Boys and girls, no back talk to parents. We have to love and listen to our parents who love us. Beautiful. Is that that hard? Our parents love us. They want the best for us. Just listen to them and obey them. Angelina, yes. Share your faith with others. Don't keep everything... A secret. Share your faith. Talk about your faith with others at school, in your neighborhood. It's okay to do that. Just so far, all these easy things to become a saint. Some of you might be up on the wall soon. <laughs> huh? A long time, in a hundred years from now. God bless you. Anything else, boys and girls? I'm very proud of you. Other things, any more practical things? Listen to your parents. Boys and girls, are we listening? Be nice to others. I hear so much of this all the time, and a lot of the classes talked about bullying. Being mean to other kids. Texting something mean about someone else. Don't do that. A saint would not do that. Be nice to one another. Do to someone else as you would want them to do to you. Boys and girls, to be a saint. When you're in church especially, don't just hang around with the same friends. Is everyone listening? You may see, you know what that's called? A click. That means I'm just going to be with these people. I don't care about them. Reach out to others. Be kind to other young people in the parish. Will you remember that, boys and girls? That's what saints will do. Okay. God bless you. But church now is not over. This is not the last day I'm going to see you, is it? Until <laughs> September? Come on. So remember, God does not go on vacation. He's here every Sunday. We're very, very proud of you, boys and girls. God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.